And we are back after that amazing time lapse folks but before I show you anything more I just want to say if you do like what I do please like this video and subscribe to my channel
Okay, now let's see what we have made here. I am absolutely blown away by how this came out. Honestly, the actual difficulty of this build was phenomenal. I was thinking of doing it a bit smaller scale, but I wanted to be consistent with the kind of design, interior and exterior. So there we go. If we go onto the roof, we have these wonderful uh, roof windows, which actually have no real purpose to just let it look nice uh, obviously i'm not gonna argue about it <laughs> it's just one of those things but they sure do look neat um obviously we have the standard functions of any retro house of the future we have a lovely color palette now you can change out this uh, concrete block to other things like green or, or yellow what have you it is really up to you as well as the interior itself but i'll get to that in a second the actual entrance to this house is through the carport now i have left that empty i want people to kind of customize what car they put in there um if you want to be law accurate it is a black station wagon i believe and i do have a tutorial for that so i will have it in the description below so going into the main room of the house this is sort of a open plan design we have a living room with a lovely tv generating all sorts of artificial lights uh we have some lovely holotape players over here some curtains really nice touch with the yellow glazed terracotta in my opinion over here we have the kitchen of the future with your own dishwasher uh, slash a baking machine. Uh, what essentially this is, is a representation of these little robot arms which you'll find in the Soul Survivor's kitchen. And they actually wash the dishes and put stuff in the oven. It's really kind of space age, uh, which is kind of what I like about this house in the first place. Uh, we have a lovely kind of dinner table where Nate and Nora and baby Sean can eat some grub, so to speak. Uh, we go down the corridor here, oh, before I go on to anything else, we have obviously the famous bookshelf where Nora's lawyer's degree is, as well as a little American flag. Now, to minimize, I have just put some bookshelves on here, but again, like I said earlier, you can customize this interior however you want. So, going to the left, we have a lovely bathroom with some uh, re receded shower curtains, the actually intro of Fallout 4 itself, where you customize your character. This happens over here here. Going into the industrial kind of uh, washer room, we have a dryer, we have a tumble dryer. Uh, we also have a washing machine, which is kind of represented through the blast furnaces and the furnaces. We also have a pile of clothes on the side here, as well as some kind of industrial mount that's in this room. So if we go down the corridor, this is another uh, cupboard, really nice use of space in my opinion. Uh, going to the left at the bottom of the corridor, we have the master bedroom. Alongside that we have a wardrobe where Nate and Nora can have all their clothes. Uh, the green wall is supposed to represent the ar army fatigues and the white wall is supposed to represent more civilian clothing, uh, so to speak. So of course we have a little table, chair, paintings, all that jazz. And finally, the piece de resistance, Sean's room. Now, for me, Sean's room was a bit more fun than the other rooms because you're playing with a lot more color variation. For example, you got the blue wool and the light blue wool, a sort of, a sort of the uh, the blanket underneath the cradle. Um, a well, uh, as well as that, I have this wonderful design for a little mobile spinner um, that sits above Sean's bed, and of course, it plays the tranquility lane theme. A little bit of a Fallout factoid for you. Um, of course, we have a cupboard over here, but I made it a bit smaller. Um, the only thing in here is like a game of Blast Radius or something like that. So I kind of represented that with a nice bit of red glazed terracotta, as well as a nice little seat for the uh, parents to play with the baby, and of course a brown carpet. Not to mention a bin for all the, uh, the nappies and, and what have you. So there we have it, the House of Tomorrow from the pre-war intro sequence to Fallout 4. I do hope you enjoyed this video. It took so long for me to make. I really underestimated how big this build was going to be. So uh, apologies about the wait time. I had a bit of a, a bug, but enough excuses. I hope you had a wonderful time watching this video. And if you do like what I do, please like this video and subscribe. My name has been Dr. Wasabi. I wish you a most pleasant good evening. And of course, as always, God bless. And now, folks, it is time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your viewing and hope we've succeeded in providing you with an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Stay happy and come back again soon. Good night.